heat, Miss oh, my stars. Nikki D. It is, uh, it's tough for people, it's tough for animals right now, and it's just getting worse each day. It truly is. I mean, we're, this is the coolest time we're going to see. Yeah. Get out there and enjoy it now. <laughs> Take the pets out for a walk. You know, like pugs, yes. anyone's with the cute little smushed in faces. Oh, yeah. They have a more difficult time breathing mm -hmm. than any other pets. So keep that in mind. Just be smart and stay safe. And if at all possible, limit your time outdoors. Right now, we're coming in 71 degrees. I know that seems warm. But y'all, that's pretty mild. And our dew point is coming in at 65. That's lower than yesterday. That's why when you step outdoors, it does feel more comfortable because it is. We are picking up on clear skies outside in Cookville that allowed your temperatures to tumble down as well. Still seeing a little bit in the way of patchy fog. Obviously, nothing as widespread as what we did encounter yesterday, but you will notice a few waves in the way of that visibility being an issue closer into Columbia and pushing down into our state line. But let's talk about what we're seeing on the radar. Power 5 not picking up on anything. We've got another calm day in our direction, but rain chances will slowly increase as we head throughout the the next few days. 59 degrees, a number we haven't seen in a while. Picking up over in Cookville, Crossville, you're at 62 this morning, 69 down in Fayetteville. You head your way over into Camden at 69, Hopkinsville 67, and you go just a little to our north. We're seeing 63 degrees, not seeing too much of the way of wind either. That's what really worked to our advantage. The clear skies and the light winds allow that radiational cooling to take place. That's why we are so mild, but the moment that sun comes up, things are going to change. We look to see plenty of sunshine today. Few clouds begin to move in the second half of our day, but all in all, it's going to be very similar with bright conditions. We head into Wednesday, starting out with our winds out of our northeast. Then winds are going to slowly shift out of our south. As they do, they stay there as we go throughout our Thursday as well as Friday. So that's going to aid in a higher dew point. So that humidity is going to feel sticky when you go outside. It's going to feel like you have on that summer sweater. And we'll continue to see a chance for an isolated shower or two each and every afternoon. Tomorrow's really limited over into West Tennessee. However, we could see a few skirt closer near Paris. All in all, it will be on the drier side. So here's what it's going to feel like when you step outside during the heat of the day. Looking to be 98 degrees for our afternoon, which is quite the jump from yesterday. Tomorrow's going to feel closer to 100, and then we're talking 105 Thursday, Friday, as well as Saturday. At a glance, you would think Wednesday would be the warmest day because according to the Mercury, it is, but the dew points are really going to continue to head up, and that's going to change the game. So here's a look at the seven day forecast. Another dry one on tap today, 95 degrees. Tomorrow's 20% just for areas off to our far west. The rest of you, not looking to see too much in the rain department. Then we head into Thursday. We'll see a few scattered showers and bedded thunderstorms. The severe threat is on the lower side, but it's still something we're going to watch. The temperature 96 degrees, feeling closer to the triple digits, and we still have intense heat. Friday, staying with you Saturday and Sunday. You'll notice if you just look at the icons, it looks a little overwhelming as if we're going to have a ton of rain. That's not the case. These are afternoon showers that'll pop up, quickly move out. But you know, if you can, stay inside and relax. So let's take a look at what's happening in the sports world.